Ms. Galloway, you say you became pregnant with your first child at 14 years old. And even with that young start, you maintain that all your children know and have been accepted by their fathers until now. Yes, Your Honor. You've petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that Mr. Harris is the father of your nine-month-old twins, Shekinah and Malachi Galloway. Mr. Harris, you state that you're a family man who first became a father at the age of 12, going on 13. Although that child was yours, you're certain that Ms. Galloway's twins are not. Yes, Your Honor. You all got started having babies way too young. How did you get together? Well, Your Honor, actually, it wasn't a relationship, Your Honor. It was just one night stands and hearing their pleasurable moments, to be honest, Your Honor. I mean, when I met her, it was in church, like usually, like the rest of her baby daddy. I mean, I'm keep it real. First off, I was, I was dating someone that he knew. A musician. Yeah, a musician that he knew. We Come ended up needing a ride home on a particular day, and the guy that I was dating called him up. And so uh, he came and gave us a ride to my apartment complex. The guy that I knew, you walked down the street to, you know, drop his kids off, and Mr. Harris here helped me to the door with my groceries. And he said, um, so when you gonna let me in the house? I said, what oh, you talking wait, about? He said, when are you going to let me come over? I said, um, the only time you're going to come over is if we're having a Bible study. Okay, so, you know, as time goes by, you know, I do occasionally see him in, in the churches playing or whatever, so, you know, I do start conversating with him. And then there was a situation where he was going to be walking, he said he was walking from um, Chance Hospital in Jacksonville to um, uh, not even knowing where he was going to go, and this was Christmas Eve, and I said, okay, well, I don't have my kids this evening, and, you know, uh, it's cold outside, you're going to be walking by yourself, you know what, I'll, I'll meet you. So we walked to a, a van where he knew the, that the doors were going to be unlocked. So we your go in the van. van you talking about? We go into my, the my van, van. Your and we van. sleep. We sleep in the van that night. We didn't sleep in the van. We had sex in the van. That we night. slept in the van. <laughs> we slept in the van that night, and you know he didn't touch me Over anything that night. Minutes. So you know I felt comfortable, like everything was going to be okay. So you know the next morning is when you know I'm waking up, I'm feeling him. You know, I'm. Uh, I'm, I'm you know, okay, I'm gonna that's go, not true. go past that part. Okay, so you know, <laughs> we um like we end up getting involved. We did get involved in that van the next morning because you know that night, you know, I felt comfortable with it. I felt like it was okay or whatever. You met him in church. Yes. And the next thing you know, you having sex with him in an abandoned van? Yes, ma'am. You did not use protection. No, I didn't. we did not use protection. No and it was only, it was like maybe three minutes. And then he was like, okay, I well, have no, to use three minutes, 45 minutes. <laughs> four, you mean 45 four, two, minutes? You mean four to five you saying, minutes? You said Because it was 30, not no oh, four to five okay. minutes. Well, it was long enough to potentially produce two beautiful babies. Uh, that was just the first occasion. There was actually another occasion because, you know, after the first time of, you know, it only being that short, you know, maybe he could, you know, do a little something more. So maybe, you know, that short period of time wasn't all was that. Was he auditioning? No. <laughs> I believe so, Your Honor. He wasn't, he wasn't auditioning, but that night, um, once again, we, we did get involved, but that was another, uh, another short-lived experience, uh, that, that five minutes, but he did. We didn't use protection that night, but uh, uh, January 3rd um, when, is when my cycle was supposed to show, and I, it didn't. Um, and, like, it was... Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't. <laughs> all this unprotected sex. You all, do you all understand when you don't use protection, you can get pregnant? You do yes, understand that? Yes, ma'am. But yes, you're still doing it? Yes, ma'am. So you come up pregnant. Yes, ma'am. What do you say? What do you tell him? Okay, so January 18th is when I took the home pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. And that's when I sent him the text message and the pictures. Now, right after that, I went to the emergency room and she said that you have two babies. And I'm like, okay, two babies? You know, this, you got the wrong person. She was like, no, this is, uh, this is you. This is, you're 10 weeks long now. And this is two babies right here I see. So I'm picking up the phone, I'm calling, I'm hysterical. Like, hold on now, you know, this, she said we have just two babies. That's why you call me. When I found out about these babies, Your Honor, in fact, Your Honor, it was on Facebook. <laughs> with a picture Jerome, of... Let me see that evidence, please. With a picture of the babies and my other two daughters that I do take care of and not a deadbeat too, and her saying, you are the father. Why would you just post this? 
I mean, because you're not just posting exactly. Mr. Harris look, to embarrass him. You got your kids' faces up look, there. Right after, when I, after I told him that I was having twins, shortly after, he ended up leaving, leaving Florida. And I he stopped calling. You, you look, cost he me stopped all my work. Like he used to, and uh, she's not here today as a witness, but, you know, the lady that I stay with can, like, she, she, don't she even saw like everything me. that happened. She was the one who was listening to the phone calls. She was like, I don't know why you're doing this. And even um, a friend, Lonnie, was telling me, you don't want to... Your ex-boyfriend that you was with before you was with me? You don't want to... That's a lie. He's that's saying, a lie? You, you was with him at the anyway. same time? How you gonna say me? You got that's Lonnie, a, you got... In fact, lie. Lonnie played the keyboard with me if you want to be, in that's fact, real. Um, Natasha continue. divorced Lonnie due to the to fact continue. of him cheating and going behind women I had. So let's to be continue. real. Don't hide that. So hold on, hold oh, on, hold okay. on. Let me understand this. Let me understand this. Mr. Harris, you're saying that Ms. Galloway also slept with some other musicians that played at the church Man. with you? Lonnie is a musician. He plays the keyboard. And, and Lonnie is Mr. Samuel. Right, Mr. Lonnie and, Samuel. And he's here in court with us oh, as well. I'm, I'm so glad. Because Mr. Samuel actually... <laughs> actually, Mr. Samuel, me and Mr. Samuel was cool until we fell out behind a woman. And due to the fact that Mr. Samuel going behind chasing behind three or four other girls I was with, Mr. Samuel was married. His wife divorced him due to the fact of what he was doing. During the time that me and Miss Galloway had what we had going on, she was showing me Facebook messages from Mr. Samuel. Oh, baby, I miss you. You need to let me come back. So, so you believe the twin's father is Mr. Samuels? If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Did you sleep with more than one man, Miss Galloway, the during the period no, of conception? No. I was only even, I was only talking to him. That's why the, the I, I said she's not here because she's working. No, we that's what y'all should have been doing was just <laughs> talking. You're right. You're right. You're right. You have no doubt. In no doubt, mind. not at all. Not at all, because during this time, like I said, Did I Did you sleep with Mr. Samuels, too? No. That's a lie. That, no, that is not a lie. You that and, is not a lie. You and Mr. Samuels slept together. Me, you, you, told me out this, to... you told me out your own mouth. Just like the he boyfriend lying. you had before you met me and had sex with me, you was you talking to me. You are trying to, to throw up musician. everything that you can. It ain't no case. You only want child support. Are you serious? Your Honor. Your Honor, I two know my proof after and my he facts, had that, Not even these, two weeks after he had Yana, the pictures on Facebook, he first took of the all, pictures Yana, down. Yes, it, sir. When it comes to claiming, I'm not, I'm far from a dead because I take care of anything I make. I went on and did my research. First of all, if you say they're my kids, you don't got nothing in the father's space. You can put a alleged father and in Florida, let me they would get you, Your Honor. This is both the birth certificate that's left play. On top of what that, Your Honor. What is this research and what is this evidence? If you know for a certain fact I'm the father, one thing for sure, like I always said, Where's my right. last name? Because if you want to uphold some leverage and on so somebody, you don't give you a child a man's last name. And so what you presented to the court here are copies of the children's birth certificates. Correct, Your Honor. Where the father's information is... Is not... Blank. Is Correct, not Space Your Honor. intentionally left blank. Right. If, if she you had an option are, to put the name acting right there and then acting, Duval and County would have contacted me and said, go. Mr. Harris, we need you to come do a DNA test for these children because you was And your the thinking father. is she did Ooh. not put your name or list your name as father because... She's not even sure if I'm the DCF father. DCF has been trying to get in contact with him. That's a lie. I, I just, I call him, when are you going to take maternity tests? Because they're looking for you. Oh, you can just give them my number. Give them your number. No, they need your address. They need That's to know not who you true, are. You I just contacted DCF recently. In the inbox and DCS Facebook. said, hey, we've been, we send this, these things to two different addresses. We've been trying to get to him, but we can't Your get Honor. to him. Your All Honor. right. I want to hear from Mr. Samuels. Jerome, can you please escort him into the courtroom? Certainly. Mr. Harris, you contend that Ms. Galloway slept with Mr. Samuels. Ms. Galloway, you say that's not true. Exactly. All that's right. Let's hear what Mr. Samuels has to that's say. That's the father. Mr. Samuels, that's the daddy. Yeah, that's the daddy right there. Mr. Samuels, we've heard testimony today. Mr. Harris has indicated he believes you had a sexual relationship with Ms. Galloway. Ms. Galloway says that's not true. Mr. Harris contends that you are, in fact, the father of the twins. No, ma'am, I am not the father of the twins. Look, 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 look at him, y'all know. That, that, come on now, look at him and look at the babies. <laughs> look about it. Ray is known as being a hoe. Okay, okay so let's speak respectfully. Say it nicely. I'm sorry, Yana. Okay, well, he's known for being a dog. I'm a dog. Hey, what hey, are you? Hey, your wife okay, know okay. you here right well, now? Okay, okay. We, your we, wife we, even know you oh, down okay, here okay, right okay, now. Okay, okay. We, okay, we had the same past. 
We did. How many we of my did, women did you did, chase? Like, come on, Lonnie, let's okay, be Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I did story? it. Yeah, I chased it. Yeah, I chased it. Come on, I chased it. How many, I chased didn't it. your ex-wife leave you because no, you actually, got divorced? No, you, we your got wife divorced. got divorced because we you got slept divorced. with the woman I was with. Come okay, on, listen, real. Mr. Samuels, you say you've never had a sexual relationship with Miss Galloway. No, ma'am. Uh, what is your relationship like with the twins? Um, but basically, when she had the twins, like, I got remarried. So, me and my wife went over there to the house, and, you know, we seen the babies, and the thing about when I, when I picked them up, I said, oh, yeah, I knew who the father is, these twins. They basically, oh, like, is, oh, he, they, they look just like him. You, you, he can't deny you, especially the little girl. He cannot deny that child, y'all know. Then when the kids got sick, she tell me, I be like, well, where's, where's Mr. Harris? Oh, he's Lonnie, a, he, you knew oh, that. He, Why you ain't never oh, hit me oh, in the inbox, Lonnie? Think about it. Now, 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 now you know we were school. Now, now, now you know we were school. We now, fell now, out now, over a woman. Now, Come now, on, now, that's now, the real. All right, let's talk one at a time. On. I want to understand this. You say Why what, you ain't Mr. Samuels? Okay, baby, this is when the twins got sick. I asked, and I asked Mr. Galloway, I said, where's Ray? She said, Oh, um, he he's not he's not doing enough for the kids. He's not trying to do nothing. And based on us, I went to the store and I got the Tylenol because the babies had a fever. I love kids. I got kids by myself. I got three. So baby, basically, okay, if it, okay, she called me and be like, oh, they they're sick. I'm saying, can you can you help me out? Okay, if I got the money, yeah, I'll help you out. So you pretty much stepped up, yes, like a father would, yes, for these twins. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Harris. Yeah. I never denied none of my children. I had two other daughters. You doing it and now? The son, I had two other daughters and a son. They didn't been to church with me, the same pastors who were slandering my name and costing me to work. It affected your livelihood. Yes, it did, y'all. Explain Honor. to the court how. Okay, I do private security and I also was a musician. Okay. And a lot of my contracts came through different pastors and other people. One day I was sitting at home and a pastor called me. He said, you ought to be ashamed of yourself doing your girl like that, ain't taking care of them kids, just running around her, got her out there. She already got five kids, what kind of man is you? So I told the pastor, I said, look here, first of all, I didn't made it tenth. I ain't getting nothing from it, don't call me with that. It's just like that, if you wanna know something, tell her to give me a DNA test and we can go from there. Then I hung up the phone on him. A gospel rapper called me and asked me, man, what's going on with you and her, man? You denying the kids like that, you going in like that? It made me look like a bad person. The person feel like, what am I gonna pay you some money for when you ain't even taking care of your own responsibilities? How much money specifically have you lost because All of together, this? about $3,900. It cost me shows. People didn't want me to be their musician no more. He claims that I'm the one that's slandering his name, but then he also says that um, all these women are trying to pin babies on him. And the other two girls that he claimed that he was taking care of, he says, the oh, they slept with another person, they slept mm -hmm. with somebody else, so they should get a paternity test too. They slept with Both this of you all are doing a lot of research and you need to be doing a lot less sex. <laughs> Everything is now you gotta research somebody. You're supposed to research somebody before you ever have sex with them. You're right. But where do you work, Miss Galloway? I'm a full-time student. I'm unemployed. You a full-time student? Yes, ma'am. With no job? Not anymore. No. Now, Mr. Before. Harris? Yes, Your Honor. You think she, Miss Galloway, should be responsible for this $3,900 that you lost because you're saying you lost jobs because she went around talking about you were a father to her twins and you were not stepping up to the plate and you were a deadbeat. Yes, Your Honor. And that is your countersuit. Yes, it is. All right. I can rule on that, but only after I get the results. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Not to put the blame on anybody, um, I grew up um, without my father in my life. And so it was hard for me to identify with um, uh, dealing with men and uh, knowing whether or not a man actually loved you or would care for you and wanted to take care of you and uh, And so you're so looking... Far. Listen, you didn't even have to tell me that story for me to know that. Because um, there's no way a beautiful young girl like you should be running around giving away herself for free over and over and over again. <laughs> and make no mistake, you shouldn't be getting paid for it either. Yeah. That's not the point I'm making. Yes, what I'm saying is that's your body, that's your temple, that's your right. spirit, that's your soul. You laying down with men, and then when you're trying to find them, they're running all around the country, marrying other people in here, trying to deny children that they've produced with you. And you left, not holding the bag, but holding five children with no job. I'm happy you're getting your education because you're going to need it. Yes. Yeah. Jerome, I'm ready. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read 
as follows. In the case of Galloway versus Harris, pertaining to nine-month-old twins, Shekinah and Malachi Galloway, it has been determined by this court in the case of Galloway versus Harris, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Samuel, you are not the father. <laughs> Mr. Harris, you are the twins' father. <laughs> well, my research <laughs> says that you're, in fact, the biological father. How many children do you have? It's nine, y'all. Nine. nine children. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so frustrated. I really am. This is not how you live life. You're right. Your destiny and your purpose is not to be baby-making factories. Yeah. What are you doing with your life? Mm -hmm. You all better stop having babies. Both of you. Ms. Carson and Ms. Shelmanson Bay, you are here on behalf of your deceased brother, Michael Carson, to prove he is not the biological father of the defendant's two-year-old daughter, Mariah. You claim Ms. Marcellus was promiscuous and your brother doubted that he was the father. You're here to protect your family name. Is that correct? Yes, yes Your Honor. Ms. Marcellus, you say the deceased Michael Carson was the love of your life and his family's denial of your daughter, Mariah, is breaking your heart. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Carson, you say you're here to protect your family name. Yes, I'm here to... Tell the court why. In 2016, my brother was murdered. We just celebrated two years of his death not even a week ago. Prior to that, he never claimed Mariah as being his child. And we feel that she's saying that so she can get his death benefits. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank Appreciate you. it. So you believe this entire paternity issue is motivated by the fact that she wants death benefits for her child? Correct. So, Ms. Marcellus? Yes, Your Honor. Are you here motivated by death benefits? No, I am not. And I'm surprised that they would even think that I'm sitting up here trying to get this paternity test over some money. I don't need to have that money. My daughter is entitled to that money because that is her father. And so, at this point, would you like to respond, Ms. Shelmanson Bay? Yes, that's false. Her only motivation is because of money. It's been about money. If it's not beneficial, she don't want anything to do with anything. That's what it is. How am I gonna take care of kids without money anyway? I gotta Job. get out here and work. I'd work. They real daddy Girl. needs to take care of him. He was until he died. How about that? When I need a diaper for that baby, guess who he was cutting not the there. check? He was. Okay. So where was you at? Where was you at? Though? She wasn't even a month when he passed where, away. Okay, so and he was there. But when I had that baby and she so popped out, who was at the he, hospital? Y'all right. wasn't. Not him. Girl, Girl, how, how was we, that? We don't supposed to be there. All right, let's get some order, ladies. Get ladies. No, let's get some order. Let's get some order. So, so he's not here to answer that Ms. question. Ms. Marcellus, oh, talk to me about... I hold on. Ms. Marcellus, I want you to talk to the court about the nature of your relationship with the deceased Michael Carson. I had met him at a convenience store that was right around the corner of my house and everything. He approached me when I was walking out of the store. So it just ended up escalating then. So we've been off and on for five years. At some points in time, were you committed or was this always... I was always committed. He uh, <gasps> did a lot of stepping out. But you were committed in the relationship. Yes, I was. That is your testimony. Yes, I was. And so, to the sisters, Ms. Carson, Ms. Shelmanson Bay, your doubt is because Mariah, you say, he did not accept. Correct. He wasn't even in town around the time she got pregnant. So he, he was had moved out of, when he I moved got out pregnant because he was about late an hour. Me. Or so he just had a birthday party. Okay. That's so Ms. Marcellus, Ms. Marcellus, and he yes, told me when you said you were yes, pregnant, and I asked about who. You said your brother. Got off the phone with you, called my brother. I said, Mikey, Ashley says she's pregnant by you. He bust out laughing. He was really goofy. I said, this is a serious matter. Is this your baby? He said, no, that's not my baby. That's, that's all I needed to hear. And so, Ms. Marcella says, you can see their brother said to them, there's no way I can be the child's father. So tell the court 
What happened when you found out you were pregnant and what was going on in your relationship during that time? At the time, when I ended up getting um, pregnant with Mariah, me and Mr. Carson were separated. He was in another relationship two hours away in another city. Um, he had came back to the city. He had his little birthday party and everything like that. I was doing my own thing, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I had a friend that I was dealing with in September before I had started back. Another possibility. So you had a, you you were having sex with someone else. Yep, in September. And when I had um, slept with Mr. Carson, it was right after his birthday. I found out I was pregnant in November, and I told him that I was pregnant. It wasn't no secret. Was he happy about the baby? He was just he was Michael, you know, and he was like, okay, cool. That was it, you know. So wasn't nothing to talk about. That you was laid up with different dudes. I well, I was pregnant. House. I was laying up with different girl, dudes. Girl, girl, I I thought, oh, what other you always was pregnant. Like, girl, I show sure am, Bad. and I know exactly which father is who. We, we so, gonna see today. Oh, so, no. yeah, we show sure will, and then I want to see what you're talking. You didn't have little get-togethers. Okay, and that's my problem. What they got to do with you? It don't got nothing. What got to do with me? That's My brother and his kids are claiming this. Is. But I don't care here. because after I told him we, uh, I was about to have Mariah and then I was pregnant with Mariah, me and Michael was planning to get married. But he was already married. No, he was so not. At the time. He got married. Wow. First wow. of all, Michael got married March 11th of 2016. Because you was there. Because you was there. No, I oh. was not there. No, he was not married at the time that me and him were about to get married. No, November, when I told you that... I How did you find out he was married? Facebook. How? I seen pictures of him and the girl at a courthouse like we're standing in and they were exchanging vows and everything. And I can see That's that how hurts. I, hell yeah, that hurts. How you think I'm supposed to feel? This person I done put all my time and invested in that done promised me things regardless to what they're saying. Go marry the next person? I heard like hell. pregnant? Yes. Can no. you go have your own kids so you can quit can worrying about what I got going on? I'm taking care of mine. I'm taking care of mine. I'm taking care of mine. However, let's be poorly. So did you didn't Ladies. think he ever had no doubt? Ladies! I yes, Your Honor. I'm trying to stay respectful and kind. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I apologize, Your Honor. Well, we have got to let one person speak at a time so I can understand. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. I'd like to go to the plaintiff's witness. Miss, will you please stand up? Thank you. And state your name for the court. I'm Geraldine Carson. Miss Carson, you are Miss Carson and Miss Shelmanson's mother and also the deceased Michael Carson's mother. Is that correct? Yes, I am. All right. Ma'am, we are here, of course, discussing a very sensitive situation regarding baby Mariah. And I know I'm so sorry for your loss. I really am. Mm -hmm. And I know this is very difficult, but this is important that we understand whether or not this baby would be the last living legacy of your son. Okay? Yes. So do you believe Mariah Carson is your son's biological daughter? No, I do not. And can you tell the court why? I had to have a conversation with him and asked him, point blank, is this your baby? And he said no. So we know he's not here and to correct or however you want to fix it. But Mikey was always a, a jokester. You know, he's the, he's the youngest of seven children. And that's our baby. And that's the way he was to us. He was always joking and playing around. And so when you say... Mikey was a jokester. Do you think when he was speaking to you, he was just kind of like, no, nah, ma, and just kind of joking because he didn't want to deal with the conversation right now? Or do you believe your son was really telling you what he felt? I believe he was telling me what he felt, but how can I really tell? I don't know at this point because he's, he's gone now. And I love the babies, but I need to know if they are his children. So I'll be able to really be a good grandmother and love on him for his sake to his children. Yeah, because it's his legacy. We have to make that still live on yes. if they're his. But it, it's three no's to one yes. And regardless of how my, Ashley feel about us or our family or whatever, I'm a good auntie to my nieces and my nephews and ain't nobody gonna be able to tell them about their daddy Buzz. That's real. She knew what she knew about him, but we've been rocking with him since he was born. And I love my brother. 
and I'm going to make sure that his people was okay. I made sure he was okay when he was alive. And I'm for damn sure going to make sure his kid's okay while he gone. Period. That's why I We just so want bad. answers. They think I just want money. I want my babies to have a family. And they deserve it. They need to know who they their people know. are. I, I can't tell that. that baby who her father is more than they can. Ms. Marcellus, did Michael ever express to you, I know this is difficult, <laughs> did he ever express to you that he didn't believe he was Mariah's biological father? Yeah, he did come to me about, uh, am I sure if Mariah's he is? He had told me that his sister Maya had told him that I, about the neighbor that I was dealing with where I lived at. And was and this, was this after she was born or before? No, this was before she was Before she born. was born? Yeah. So, Ms. Carson, how did you find out about the neighbor? Um, he was spending the night watching our kids. He had uh, his own he little... He never watched my kids. Girl, he was watching your kids. Then he was playing the game. He had, he had his own emotion my, on my so brother video that. game at your house. So, how he wasn't watching your kids in your house? Game. So he what? Was, girl, he was, I walked, you know how many times Mine. I walked in your house and you was not know. there and the kids were there? Girl, no, well, because I was next door. So, he was watching and your kids, he, correct? Girl, bye, please. Your honor. On the video game, you can make your profile of who's playing, log in under the Wi-Fi and everything. The guy she was dealing with was so comfortable that when my brother went over there and was about to play the game, he had a whole profile of himself in the video game. This is not nothing I heard from Ashley. He called and told me, like, she got this dude up in the house to where he comfortable enough to be on my video game that I bought, and he done made him his own little profile. So, wait, was this during the window of conception all this was going on? Before I, could, I got... She was concepted. So it was before she was conceived. Yes. But you uh, but and you I, stated that but, you was loyal. I was always committed. Okay, but this is what like, I told your brother. Like I told your brother, you up here two hours away laid up with the next person. I can't go on and live my you life. You can, but be I honest him, about it. That's like your I hot said, pocket. You can give him whoever you want. Him talk, but let's be clear about him these talk, kids. Because he still was like my best friend. We talked about everything. Regardless when we beefed out or whatever, we end up talking about the situation. You know what I'm saying? He found out when she told him about it what I got a lie for. Yes, I slept with that dude. But are you admitting, are you saying right now you were, in fact, sleeping with him? You yeah. all were having sex. Sure. Was it protected sex? Yes, I did protect <laughs> myself with him. Oh, you must have been laying there in the bed with Girl, you always... Well, Girl. look, it, what, it, what, like, we do know, like, what we do know, there is no protection it. that is 100% percent Because you pregnant proof. right now, but you saying my brother was the love of your life and you pregnant right now with another man's And so what? It's two years later. I can't live on with my life. Girl, I can't go but on. you crying, though. It hurts so much, I, though. I don't give right. a damn who I'm with. I Girl. still love that man to this day. And you look a fool. It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop because I'm going to forever love him. And Regardless. keep going. Keep pushing, baby. I and think so I'm then not, we need to know if that's so why you still daughter. talking to me. So, so wait girl, a minute. So this girl, is what I... Girl, listen, girl. listen, listen. This is what I'm, I'm seeing. And I, and I truly understand now where the doubt lies because you've admitted, Ms. Marcellus, that because her brother had moved on and had gotten married and was with someone else, you decided to move on as well. So, Ms. Carson, does that even further your doubt? That means, yes, it does, because he had some doubt. But even in this, um, when we were inboxing right here, he was like, we have a baby chill. I'd like to see that, ma'am. Jerome, can you hand that to me, please? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What is this piece of evidence? This a text the, uh... exchange? Mm hmm Between you... Yep. ...and Mr. Carson? That is correct. It was August 15th, 2016. You said, I just really need a job, for real? Yep. And Mr. Carson responded, we got a newborn, chill. It get greater later. And you responded, I wish sooner. And that text made you believe that he accepted Mariah as his own. He accepted our baby. Even after I came home with her from the hospital right before he had left out of town again, you know? He was interacting with my baby. He was holding my baby. He was feeding my baby. He changed my baby. You know, and those are characteristics of somebody that's not doubting a child. May I say something, Your Honor? Yes, you may. One thing I want to say about my son, Michael. He's a good father, and he's a loving man. If he loves her, he's going to take care of that baby, whether he believes it's his or not. And he I don't, I don't think he... As he is. I don't think they even look alike. But that's the type of man he is. He's real loving. You know, I, both of my sons are because that's the way their dad is. 
when you look at Mariah, you don't feel like she is your son's baby? I don't feel like she is, but I love her. And I want to know definitely whether she is or whether she's not. So I'll have a peace of mind and I have closure concerning my son and his children. Yes. And that's what we have for you. Okay. The answer that will hopefully give you peace of mind and the closure you so desperately need. Jerome? Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased, Michael Carson, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parents, Geraldine and Mitchell Carson. In the case of Carson, Shelmanson Bay versus Marcellus, when it comes to two-year-old Mariah Carson, it has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Geraldine and Mitchell Carson and two-year-old Mariah Carson is 99.99%. You are related. You are related. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you, Your Honor. That is your niece, that is your grandbaby, and that is Michael's last living legacy. Ashley, I still love you, but we just needed to know. I we have you're no still hurt. I know it hurt, but this this was a process that we had to go through to find out because he's not here to tell us. I'm not he mad. Be here taking up that man, but we gonna make sure she good. At least we got closure on one thing. Yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> anything? Can I hug her? Of course. Can I hug you, Ashley? I love you, baby. I just needed to know. You okay? Okay.